Uh oh. We got a problem here. How's it going YouTube? Spec and Auto is back with another video today. This is going to be a pretty quick and uh, short video. Basically what's going on here is that I got a new door back in October from a donor car because a deer hit my car and completely destroyed my door and my fender. So obviously I've got the new fender installed and the, the uh, new door installed but I never switched out the locks from the door. So basically what's wrong is that the lock in that driver door is from a from the donor car in which the doors come off of but obviously my key is not compatible with that lock so i had to take the lock out of my original door and now we're going to be installing it into the new door let's get started okay guys so this is going to be a really easy job to do or at least if things go right it should be so you're just going to need three simple tools you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a ratchet with an extension, and an 8mm socket, and a plastic uh, trim pry tool. And that's all you're going to need for this. So basically, we're going to start off with all the easy things. So let's start off with removing the window controls. So you just kind of stick your tool in a little hole in here. And you have to like kind of pry up until it pops out just a little. And then you just kind of work around it until the rest of the tabs pop up. And then it's, it should eventually be as simple as popping it out like so. Now we're going to take our wires out of here. So we have this little wire harness and then this bigger wire harness. And just push the tab, pull out. Here's your window controls. Okay. Now we need to remove this little plastic door that's behind the door handle. So we're going to use the same tool again. We're going to carefully try to pry it out. And, and it fell. But that's fine because we got the job done. So we get that out of the way. So now you will be met with two Phillips screws. One here. And one in there so I'm gonna go ahead and get the annoying one first which will be the one inside of the door handle right I guess hold it like this unscrew it take the screw out sit it in a place that you will remember so like all these parts that I'm taking off they'll all be in one spot and I will know exactly what goes where and now we'll take this other screw out by the window control area. And you want to carefully pull it out so you don't drop it inside of the door panel. So here's our other screw. And now both screws are out. So now it should get a little bit easier from here. So now what you want to do is find the little, there's like a little tiny square piece right here under the door panel. You want to press up on it and start popping out the door panel from the tabs so like this just try to be very careful with it because you don't want to break anything and now you're going to lift it up and wiggle its way out from its home here all right I'm not going to worry about really trying to take these wire things out because we might be able to get away with not having to take all that off. So now you'll be exposed to the inside of your door. You'll want to 
take this uh, protectant off right in this region. Okay. Now we're going to take a look inside, see what we need to do. So let me bring you guys closer. If you look up in here, you will see that little metal piece there. That is a part of the lock that we need to remove. So to help us get to that, we might have to pop this guy out. So we'll pop him out just in case. Okay guys, so now you'll see the reason why I said we should take this out. If you look in that hole, you'll start to see some screws. And then right up there, you'll see that little bolt right there that we need to take out. So it's a good thing that we took this off. So now we're going to go ahead and get our other lock. So this is the lock that came out of my old scrap door right there. And I'm going to be switching it out into this new door. So if you set up the lock like this, you can kind of get an idea of how it's set up. And you can compare it. So now we'll have to take some of that stuff apart and get ourselves up in there. So let's do that real quick. Alright, so now we're going to take a look in here real quick and see what we will have to remove. And it looks like... Don't mind my head being in the way just for a quick second. It looks like I might have to take the main part of that door handle out. So we'll have to take... It looks like... It's like a socket you need to stick up in there. Oh, I lied guys, you guys need two extensions, not one, because it's a pretty far reach in the door. I had no idea. That's okay. I'm still learning the uh the setup of these doors. So we're gonna line it up where okay, so now we're gonna have to take our 10 millimeter bolt out of this hole. Let's try to be careful and not drop it. If we do, it's not a big deal. We can still go back and get it. But it's easier if you just kind of stick your hand in there and kind of give it like a little safe spot to softly fall onto. And then take it. And now here's your bolt. All right. Now we're gonna take a look again. Let's see what more we need to do. Hmm. Okay. And now we can just kind of bring it right out. So that actually wasn't very hard. The hard part is getting it around these whole, the little areas here, like where your door, your door latches and wiring and stuff is. I'll just have to kind of wiggle it around, make it work out. We're gonna be met with this, uh, these three little screws here. Just gonna have to take them out. And real quick, so you guys can actually get a better viewpoint of this. This is what it's going to look like inside. You see the three screw holes. I just took the one out. There's two more. When you pull these screws out, the lock will pull right off. And that's when we can slap the other one right on. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be really hard to get you guys a good angle in here because it's such an awkward position. But you guys get an idea after seeing the screws. Alright. One more screw to go. And it should successfully pull right out. It's 
It's always that last screw that's a pain. <laughs> it's alright though, we got it. If you hear all that noise in the background, don't mind don't mind that. There's a bunch of random people over there with a U-Haul van. But let's continue. Alright. So we just took our, our lock out. And now we're gonna do a little test before we put the other lock in. So what we want to do is find our key just so you make sure it's the right one in case you know worst case scenario say for example you mix it up and you don't know which one's your lock I already know that this one's mine because I put the screws with this lock in there so I already know this is the one that goes in but just in case take your key see if it works Obviously it works, and so now we can just throw it in there. Okay guys, so there's a very important note I forgot to mention before you do this. Look at the position of this little center piece there. See how it's kind of off the side a little bit, almost straight up. You'll want to get your lock and make sure that you're putting it in the same position because as you can see it's not in that angle it's in a sideways angle so it's not gonna it's not gonna seat perfectly like that so you're gonna have to turn the key as you lay the lock in its hole to um properly line, properly line it up and then get it attached okay so here's the fun part guys gotta make sure the key is in the same position when we go to put it in perfect okay I'm pretty sure that worked and I'm gonna hold it okay guys so I recommend you guys uh, keep the key key off the key ring when you're doing this because it's gonna be really hard with a big key ring with a bunch of stuff on it so we're gonna get our screwdriver again. We got everything aligned, like I said. We got one screw in, we have two more screws to go. So we'll go ahead and start putting the other two screws where they belong. So go ahead, sit it in there, and we'll go ahead and screw her in. Sorry for the bad angle, guys. There's like no room where I'm at. I'll only do what I can here. Okay. All right, now we got two out of three in. All right, now we get screw three out of three in place. Let me go over here this time so you guys can actually kind of see what I'm doing. Because you're not going to really learn much when you're just looking at my arm. Alright, so we're going to go ahead carefully screw back in. Like I said, this is like a extremely awkward position to be screwing stuff in and out of. So you get things like this happening. And it just makes it a... a it actually kind of makes it a little bit of a fight, but it's not hard. You just have to be a little patient and try to work with what you have and work around it. Here, maybe I'll put it down like this. There we go. Like I said, extremely awkward angle, and I feel like I'm going to keep cutting myself up. I really don't want to do that, but happens then it happens uh, we'll make sure that all the screws are seated tightly nice and snug perfect and now real quick I'm gonna lift up the lock and you guys will see that you turn it And it does the job so we'll mount it back in place in the reverse order that we've taken it out we'll button everything up and then we'll test it at the end 
Now what we're going to have to do is wiggle this thing back around to where it came from. And then we can reposition it to where it needs to go. guys as you can see everything's back together now locks the new uh, rep new lock is in place um, so the original lock is now back on the car with my key we're gonna test it and we'll see how it works so as you guys can see got my key that's lock turn it twice it'll unlock all four doors and perfect i now have a working key perfect 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 turn it once unlock your door twice for all four doors so project has been successful there's a little bit of fighting but we got it we got it figured out this whole new lock this whole lock thing is new to me but like like you can see I'm, i don't mind trying new things and we did it successfully, so we'll give ourselves a round of applause. Okay guys, it's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little fun project that we decided to do. This It's really good to have a lock like that just in case your power locks ever stop working or your key fob stops working or God forbid you lock your key in your car. How are you going to get in your car if it's a mismatched lock? <laughs> so... Yeah, so that was definitely an essential thing to do. So I feel very, very happy and excited that we were able to get this done today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave the video a like. Please share this video with your friends and family all over social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Hashtag spec and motto, guys. Um, but yeah, hit that bell icon and subscribe, guys, so you guys get notified every video upload. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you next time.